Hey up duck, we are back. We've got Andrea in the building and today we are doing tortoise shell nails and I've wanted to do this on here for so long. And now we have the best product to do it with. We have the jelly top coat collection. <gasps> Let's do it. Just gonna wipe over with the cleanup solution. So this is going to dehydrate. It's gonna get rid of basically any scuzz that's on there. You know, if Andrea's been touching her face um, or anything else. I don't go around just touching random things. I don't might have I might have touched my face. You might have touched your face. Yeah. <laughs> Foundation like I always do. Yeah. So we wanna get that off. So here we are, nice and clean. We're gonna start with base coat. The base coat is gonna give you maximum adhesion and that's what we need because, I mean, you need to have them on for a long time because it's gonna be a while until I can do your nails, babe. Yeah, Because I'm going on holiday. Rude. I'm going to Turkey and then for a work trip, work trip, we're going to Las Vegas. Aren't we, Adam? Oh, yes. And it looks like Andrew's coming now as well. Wow. Yes, I'm going to try my best. This is it. We have suggested to Andrea if she possibly wants to come. Do you know what I mean? Why don't you just annoy Damien, right, <laughs> yeah. to the point where you say, well, if you want rid of me, yeah. there's the flight to book. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You'll only book it one way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, base coat, we're going to cure for 30 seconds. I'm excited to do these. So, love, absolutely love tortoise shell. I love it with neon as well. I just think the contrast is just gorgeous. I've not picked my neon yet, but we'll do that in a minute. Just realised <laughs> I've not gone and got that one off the shelf, but we'll go and we'll magically get one off the shelf. Or I'll ask Adam. <laughs> So we're going to start with, this is called Nala, and we will also need Ben. Um, we're going to use the transparent black as well. We might use a little bit of Voyage as well. Um, the black one is called The Veil. And this oh. yellow is called Sasha. So we're going to start with the orange, first of all. And what you need to do is, we're going to open the lids on these. Because, uh, you know, I want to be quick. And uh, hopefully don't want to knock it all over now, because it's, it's a possibility. Ooh. It could happen. We're going to do one coat of the orange. Nice and thin. Then we're going to use Ben. I'm just going to do random little splodges. Different sizes, that's the key. Different sizes. And then we're going to use the veil. And I'm just going to turn this over. So this is all top coat, yeah? I'm not sure we'll need any of Void. I might not even need any Void. It's kind of doing its job. So you can see instantly we have tortoise shell. Pop that in. That was quick. Just saying. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go over with the yellow now. I just love how quick that is. Pop it in the van. So the yellow just sort of brightens it a little bit. You haven't got to do the yellow. So that is the quick way to do it. We're going to show you a few different ways. And it's entirely up to you what you would like to do. So with this one, we are going to put a bit of yellow on in splodges. I like it because it's very free flowing. And we're going to put some of the orange. We still want it nice and neat at the cuticle. So be wary about your placements. And we're going to go with Ben. Oh my god. Again, random different sizes. We're going to use a bit of the veil. 
Uh, so we've just turned it over, which is moved these back a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the Babacast brush just to smudge this out and make it merge a little bit with the other colours. Then I'm going to get a little bit of void onto the Babacast brush and just intensify the black. So the difference between this one, all done with top coat, it's all done, quick, simple, done. This one, you can see where the normal gel polish is and where the top coats are. So this one does need buffing. So as much as this might look more realistic, we're not finished yet, by the way, um, it does require more work. So then, to finish off, what I'm going to do is use the orange over the top. And what it's going to do is it'll intensify the orange sections and it'll just add a little bit of orange to the yellow. So you're still going to get a bit of depth. And it makes it more like mottled, you know, like, like it, yeah, you know, it is like that, isn't it? Um, In real life. In real life. R-I-L. Mm -hmm. So you can see you still have lighter parts and darker parts. Right, pop me that in to the lamp. Oh, of course, because they're top coats, aren't they? I've just realised. They're top coats, yeah. haven't yeah. Because I was thinking, when you said you top coat the other one, I was like, no, you haven't. They're top coats. Because they're actually top coats. Yeah, so that's, that's like, if you want to do something really quick for a client and, you know, they like animal print, they're going to like tortoiseshell. It's beautiful. It's easy to do. I mean, that first nail we did, that was easy to do. Seconds. Seconds, exactly. So, if you bought the other one, yes, we've worked it a bit more. It's a little bit more realistic. So there's a few different ways you can do it. It all depends on how much time you have if you're doing your own nails or you're doing a client. So, I think that's quite cool. Pop them out. Cool. It's very effective, doesn't it? Yeah, and then that's top coating now. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, that's why it's so quick. So with the others, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to do some smile lines and I even want to do a smiley face. Guess I'm going to do smiley face. Yes, I'm going to do smiley faces. Okay. But they're not just going to be any smiley faces. They're going to be tortoiseshell. Yeah, tortoiseshell. Smiley faces. What cool that? So we're going to use the orange, place it on, and then we're going to use, we're going to use, we're going to use so many tools. We're going to use the design needle off the end of our hammy pick rubber to create the circle. So you're spreading product, yeah? Because you want it thin. On here so a little dollop is fine and then you're gonna spread it out and make your circle so you start from the middle go out I guess when we can probably spread this one a little bit more a little slightly bigger so I'll put some product onto a palette and I'm just gonna dot that on So all the time you're creating depth. So we start off with the pale colours and then we start to add the 
darker colours apart from the last one we always put a little bit of yellow over the top or you can use the orange you know it's you can put the yellow down first if you really want to and then go over with the orange it doesn't make a massive difference and I'm just dotting in with a little bit of the colour void Then we're going to go over with the yellow. And we're just going to go around and make sure it's covered the entire circle. Pop that in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put top coat on because we've got a base coat in the background haven't we so we're just got a top coat because I want to buff it and I can't buff the base coat can I really that's a bit silly or lose the base coat and we want to keep that so just top coating with a normal top coat so this is our no wipe top coat pop me that in I'm going to use some Silly Billy, some Suki and some Cheza. I'm going to take the Lily Liner brush. We're going to come around this edge here, this top corner. How gorgeous does the neon look next to the, I know it's a camo, the tortoise shell. Show me that. Then we're going to use Silly Billy. Pop it in. Then we're going to use Chazza here. Or Chazza. Our Cheryl. Our Cheryl. And the sun in the south in Dubai. I know, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a similar design on this one. So we're going to go around the smiley faces and I'm using the Cassidy detailer for this. So the Cassidy detailer brush is going to give you more control because it's shorter than the Lily liner brush. So I'm just going to top coat these now to seal them in. I'm going to buff them now. 
I'm buffing them because I want to make them a little bit smoother. Don't over buff because you will take off the design. So you can see here, this is what you want to look for. This is going through one top coat. So be careful. It's going to smooth them ready for your next application of top coat. Also, we're going to put bling on because, you know, why not? Just going to wipe over it with the cleanup solution. Get that dust off. I'm going to use a crystal to tell this from Nelkami. Place that where you want to put your stones or your adornments. Oh, adornment. Adornment. Oh, you're so posh, Andrew. You have adornment. Adornment, adornment. darling. <laughs> I'm going to put some adornments on you. But I don't want stones. You want adornments. Adornments, yes. Oh, yes. We it's like that. Adornment. If you could pop that into the lamp, that would be smashing. Just going to finish those off with a little bit of cuticle oil. There you are. Beautiful. Have you got a favourite? It's like a tortoise fell into the 80s. Yes. Yeah. It is. That one's my favourite. It's my favourite too. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that was the one where you did it, where you layered them wet. Yeah, and you smudge them. So you smudge it, and you, you didn't just sort of do one colour, then the other colours, then you mm -hmm. mixed it all up. Yeah, it's a bit more realistic, I think, that's why. But, you know, if you're short of time, you can do that. It's up to you. There you are. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've made it all the way to the end, please give us a thumbs up. And I think you should comment loads of little tortoises, because I'm swear... There is that on the emojis. Everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on our other social media platforms. And I will see you in the next video. Ta-ra,